Hello, everybody. We're going to start today's lesson with reviewing some things about graphs and transformations. So first, the parent graph. Parent graph looks like this. It's when there are no numbers added in. It's just your y equal to your x. This equation over here to the right, we have a plus 2 added in. So here's your parent graph. And then when you put a plus two outside of the grouping symbols, it moves it up two. So the translation is up two. This one here is your parent graph. Go to the right of this. In the grouping symbols, you have a minus three. Well, you do the opposite of that sign. So that'd be a plus. So that would go up three. And then outside the grouping symbols, you do exactly what it is, so down one. So this one, compared to the parent graph, would be right three, down one. Now, if you have a negative in front, it's going to flip it upside down. So this parent graph for absolute value looks like that. When there's a negative in front, it's going to look like this. When we put numbers in front, it is going to change how much it opens. So this blue one is the parent graph. You should take out your calculator and graph when there's a two in front. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This red one is the parent graph. Take out your graphing calculator and see with the two in front, does that make it look like this blue one? or like the green one. Does it close the opening or open it? So you take out graphing calculator, put in a two in front, put in the one half, compare how it changes your graph. Alrighty, we have this example. Describe the translation for this graph as it relates to the parent graph, and then we have to graph it. Well, the parent graph would just be the y equals the x squared without any other numbers. We have a plus 1. We do the opposite of the sign. So the translation that happens here is that it moves it left 1. And then if we were to graph that, Here's your xy coordinates. So our vertex, always find the vertex first. What's in here? We go to negative 1 because we switch the sign. There's no numbers outside of the grouping symbol, so that's 0. So our vertex is negative 1, 0. We should then find the y-intercept. So if you put 0 in for x, you're going to get y is equal to 1. So y-intercept, we plot 0, 1. Then we get symmetry because we know the shape of this is a parabola, and there's symmetry. What points on the right is also on the left. And then once you have three points, you can connect them in the shape that you know. So there's your graph. Next one, what's happening here? We want the translations going on. Well, that negative sign means that it is going to be flipped over the x-axis, because you're going to turn it upside down. Need space here. All right, with a negative 1 inside, we do the opposite of negative, so we go right 1. And then we have a minus 4 at the end. We do exactly the same sign as that, so we go down 4. So these are all the translations that are happening, or the transformations, either word. And then if you were to graph this, we would start with our vertex. So the vertex is going to be... positive 1, so we go right 1, and down 4. So the vertex is right about there. Then put in the y-intercept. y-intercept is if x is 0. 
So if x is 0, you'd get negative 1 squared, which is 1, negative in front of it. So it would be negative 1 minus 4. So if x is 0, it's going to be something like negative 5. So right here. Well, we can do symmetry. So if we go this much on the left, we are going to go the same distance on the right. And then we can draw in our shape. Well, I totally missed this point. We'll try that again. A little bit better. <laughs> Negative in front means it's going upside down. Now, let's not talk about graphs. Let's compare two different functions and decide where we're going from one to the other. So on this particular one right here, the vertex is at 1, 3. For the second one, for g of x, the vertex is at negative 1, 2. So now compare them. The x component, we're at 1, on the x-axis, and we go to negative 1 on the x-axis. So if you are at 1, here's the x-axis, here's 1, and you're going to negative 1, you're going to the left, how many places did you go? Well, you went through 0, so you went over 2 places, so it would be left 2. And then compare the y. On the y-axis, you start out at 3, and you go to 2, so you're going down, and to go to 2, it's down 1. So the transformation that happens from f to g, first with x, you went left 2, and for the y, you went from 3 to 2, you went down 1. Next two put in the vertex and then compare them. So for f of x, the vertex is negative four, negative two. For g of x, the vertex is one, six. Also notice we have a negative sign in front. So that's going to flip it over the x-axis. So we can start with that. You can say it's flipped over the x-axis. And then we're at negative 4 on x, and we go to positive 1. So to go from negative 4 to positive 1, we are going to the right five places. We're at negative 2. We're going up to 6. We're going up 8. There's all your transformations. All right, in case you missed that on here, put out a number line for x. You start at negative 4, so we start here. We want to go to positive 1, so we are going to the right. And then you just count how many places you went. Well, you went through negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and then 1. And then for the y, first point, we're at negative 2, so we're down here. We're trying to get to 6. Well, to get to 6, we're going up. That was negative 2. 6 is up here. So you count how many places you went from negative 2 up to 6. That's where we got the 8. All right, you have some practice board work to do. The answer's on the next page after it. And then we go to this type. I give you a graph, and I ask you to write the equation. So we're going to start off with y equals, you see the shape? Well, that's absolute value. It's opening downward. That means there's a negative in front. Now, inside is going to be the x. We went to the left for that vertex, so it's going to be the opposite of left, which is a plus sign. And you went over two places. You then went up. One, two, three, so plus three. Because you find the vertex. The vertex was left two, and then that's up three. Change the sign, 
keep the same sign. There's your equation. Next one, we're going to write y equals. This is a parabola, so that's going to be parentheses squared, x inside the parabola. The vertex right here is 3, 1. Use that vertex to write the equation. First number, switch the sign, so it's negative 3. Next number, keep the same sign, so it's plus 1. And there's your equation. All right. <clears throat> After you go through and do the board work, the warm up and the board work, there is then a worksheet, which is also in Google Classroom. And the answers to that worksheet are on our website in the section that says classwork answers. All right, good luck with all of that. And if you need me, come to extra help or send me an email.